once you get into our northern towns, you can't help but fall in love with them. And you'll keep coming back time and time again. Now, my mission today is to take you into Exmouth and show you just how much more there is to this town than just the spectacular Ningaloo reef system. In fact, there's something brewing, so let's hop into it. In the last three years, two new and exciting breweries have opened in the region. Froth Craft and Whalebone. Yes, two craft brewers. And what better place to enjoy a beer than in a town with a really warm climate, clear skies and seemingly endless beaches. It would seem that some research is in order. To start my brew tour, we visit Froth Craft, a brewery known as much for its delectable dishes and community atmosphere as for its craft beer. So mate, tell us, how did the name Froth come out? Uh, froth has several meanings. One, you can froth on something, and also the yeah. froth of a beer is pretty important. There's a few on tap. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the different brews? You can, yeah. This is a, this is a Kolsch, it's the lighter yeah. uh, beer between the two. You've got an amber ale there, it's the, the mid-strength. There's also a few pale ales, an IPA, and uh, a summer ale that Tyler brews at the moment. And there's six different beers on tap, and we also stock a cider and a ginger beer. And if the bubbling life of the brewery doesn't sell you on the welcoming atmosphere, then the inside certainly will. The interior walls host an array of murals inspired by local culture and history. Many of the tables are built from repurposed Jarrah from the iconic Exmouth Navy Pier, whilst other rustic furniture in the brewery is the result of careful restorations. You'd think that one brewery was enough, but there's another craft brewer here, offering some different brews to froth, providing even more diversity. The Whale Bone Brewery is just four minutes up the road from Froth and is a family-friendly venue, famous for its delicious pizza and laid-back feel. I caught up with co-founder Justin to have a chat about their ales and how Whale Bone got started. So Justin, how long have you guys been here? Uh, Trevor, we've opened up last October, so yep. fairly, fairly recently. That's traditionally the, the quiet season yep. in Exmouth. It's been really well accepted by um, locals, particularly. Yeah. Um, we seem to, every Friday night, everyone sort of comes here after work and just stays on. And you're not in the centre of town, you're a little bit on the outskirts in some ways. If somebody comes and they fall in love with your, your brew, they can actually take it home with them too. Yeah, they? look, we've got a, we just started a two litre growlers. Tell us about the, the brews, though, that you're, you're producing. We, um, we started off with a pilot brew last January actually. It was yep. an um, American amber ale, which is what we're drinking today. Yeah, yeah. Um, and look, it just suits the climate. It's easy drinking. Um, yeah, it's a lovely flavour. But there's so much more to you guys than just the beer. There's entertainment, there's pizzas. I can I can smell the pizzas cooking away at the moment. And I love all the whale bones. Where'd you find them all? Look, a lot of them were donations from the guy that actually built the bar, uh, Eric Teasdale. He's basically constructed this bar from Navy Pier right. um, timbers. So yep. when uh, Cyclone Vance came through in, I think, 1999, yep. it wiped out a whole section of the Navy Pier. Yep. And a lot of that was reclaimed. You can see, you can make good things out of uh, old timbers. Yeah, it's really cool. It adds that wonderful rustic feel to the place. Well done. Thanks very much. How's that for a little bit of a tour of some of the new things that you can experience here in Exmouth? There's so much to see and do. Great accommodation, whether it be family accommodation in caravan parks or luxury accommodation like Manta Rays here. You really have something everywhere in this place to really enjoy. Now, if you want more information about Australia's Coral Coast, all you have to do is visit our website.